this point, just bow our hearts before his presence and thank God for the privilege of being his child, of being his child. Let's worship him for who he is. Let's thank him for all he does. Let's thank him for all he is doing. All he will yet do. Let's give him pro glory and praise. Let's give him honor and majesty. Let's, let's be sure that, make sure that we are praying. Even if you are ushering, let your heart be praying. Let your mouth be praying to God. Lord, we thank you tonight. Lord, we thank you tonight. We give you glory. We give you praise. We adore you for this day that you have made. Lord, thank you for bringing us to this point. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us alive, for inviting us even to worship you. It is, it is, a, it is a privilege, and we do not take it for granted at all. It's a privilege to be able to come before you, the King of kings, the Holy God of Israel, the creator of the ends of the earth, the Alpha, the Omega, the first and the last. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you tonight. Lord, we glorify your excellency. We say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy towards us. Father, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We worship you, God, our God and our King. We worship you, Lord, our Father and our Maker. We exalt you, our rock and our fortress. We magnify you, the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the ancient of all days. We bow before your presence tonight. We say you are good. We declare that you are good and you are kind, you are faithful. Thank you, Lord. We worship your God in the beauty of your holiness. We exalt you, our King. We thank you, oh God. We, we, we're so much in anticipation of what, 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 what you would do in our lives. We thank you for the privilege to bring sacrifices of praise and worship unto you. We thank you for every hour, every dime that has been spent towards you know, making this happen. We thank you, O oh God, because you will accept those sacrifices, O oh God. Accept us and accept us, accept our sacrifices in the name of Jesus. Father, we exalt you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Psalms 22 and verse 3. Psalms 22, verse 3. The word of God says, For you are holy. You that inhabit the praises of Israel. You are holy, you that inhabit the praises of Israel. The amplified version of that scripture says, but you are holy, O you who are enthroned, the holy place where the praises of Israel are offered. At prayer, prayer tonight is, Lord, be enthroned in our praises tonight. Be enthroned. I want you to meditate on that word enthroned. Let him be the king that we have come to worship. Let him be the one that we have come to crown, Lord of lords, king of kings. Lord, we want to host your presence tonight. We want to host your glory tonight. We want to host you tonight, oh God. We ask that, Lord, you will come down. That, Lord, you will inhabit the praises of your children tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray that it will never be about us. Lord, everything that excites the flesh, everything that makes the flesh to, be, to, to glory, Father, we kill it in this place tonight. And we ask that, Lord, be enthroned. Be enthroned, O oh God. Every word of our praises, every word of worship, every word of thanksgiving, O oh God, we pray that, Lord, you will be glorified. You will be enthroned, even in every single word in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that, let the words of our mouth, 
and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in your sight. Father, we pray, O oh God, let everything that we do, O oh God, bring you glory tonight. Let it bring you praise, O oh God, tonight in the name of Jesus. Tonight we join the host of heaven. We join those that have gone ahead for, for, of us. We join, O oh God, the 20 and 4 elders. And we ask, O oh God, as it is in heaven, so will our worship be tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, we plead with you, let our worship you as it is in heaven. Let your kingdom come. Let, you, let your will be done. Let your worship be done as it is in heaven in the name of Jesus. So in that case, we ask, O oh God, that everything that is of the flesh, everything that is of the devil, Lord, that might be in this place, Lord, we banish in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that the blood that cleanses, the blood that flows from Calvary, the blood that, the blood that makes us white as snow, the blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel, that blood will be the one that will be covering us tonight in the name of Jesus. That blood is, God, see through that blood tonight, oh God. And Lord, her king unto the voice of our worship tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Lastly, I want us to pray for every vessel that the Lord is going to use to minister tonight, that the Lord will fill them. We do not want to see any, we, we don't want to see charisma. We don't want to see the charisma of man. We don't want to hear, hear the voice of man. We don't even want to hear the voice of angel. We want to hear the voice of the Spirit. Let the Spirit indwell them. Let the Spirit take over the entire faculties in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, oh God, that our worship tonight will not be mechanical in the name of Jesus. But it will be a spiritual offering unto you in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that, Lord, you will take over this atmosphere, oh God. Take over, oh God. Reign as God. Reign supreme. Lord, do not just reign in our midst, reign in our hearts individually in the name of Jesus. By the time of God we live here tonight, let us know we have encountered your glory. Let us know we have encountered your presence. Let us know that we have encountered your holiness in the name of Jesus. Lord, we hold on to you tonight. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to bring this worship unto you. We don't know how to, Lord, bring this sacrifice unto you. But you, we thank, we lean on the Spirit of God totally and completely to be in charge, to lead, to direct, oh God, that everything tonight will be acceptable in His presence. Father, we bless you and exalt you. Oh God, we will not live here hungry. We will not live here dry. We will not live, live, live here, oh God, without expectation, oh God. We ask, oh God, that, Lord, every, every single yearning of our heart, oh God, you will meet us in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless and exalt you. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let's pray that the mercy of God will prevail. The mercy of God will prevail tonight. The mercy of God will take over in the name of Jesus. The mercy of God will be a covering. The mercy of God will be the voice that will speak even on our behalf in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords. Father, Lord, we declare these 20 hours of praise to you. We give it to you and we declare it open in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> that cannot be for my God. I know that there's not a lot of us, but where two or three are gathered, there the Spirit of the Lord is. If you're happy to be in the presence of God, I want you to stand to your feet and shout hallelujah. All over this room, just raise your hands to the heavens and begin to say something wonderful to this God. 
begin to worship him. Lord, we bless your holy name for there is none like you. You are the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon. The one who was, the one who is and is to come. Yes, Lord, we bless your holy name, O oh God. Somebody raise your worship, raise your worship. Lord, we exalt your name, O oh God. We give you all the praise. Let the heavens know that you're here this evening. Let the heavens know that you're here this evening. Somebody worship him. Lord, we exalt your name, O oh God. We give you all the glory, God. Lord, we exalt your name. We bow before your presence, for there is no one like you. There is no one that can be compared to you, O oh God. You are the one who sits in heaven and you use the earth as your foot too. You rule and you reign in the affairs of man. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and begin lifted up the everlasting doors. Let the King of glory come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and begin lifted up ye everlasting doors. And let the King of glory come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. The mighty man in battle, the first and the last, the king of all kings, the lord of all lords. Somebody worship this God. Just Lord, we honor your name, O oh God. In this place, we acknowledge your presence, O oh God. We say that you rule and reign in our midst this night. That you would rule and reign in our midst this night, O oh God. Let your name be praised and let your name be glorified. Yes, Lord, we worship you. We exalt your name, O oh God. For there is no one like you. Yes, Lord, we worship you. The Lord of hosts, the King of glory, Yahweh Shabbat, Yahweh Shabbat. The Lord of hosts, I see your glory. Yahweh Shabbat Yahweh Shabbat The Lord of hosts I become your glory Yahweh Shabbat Yahweh
miracles so great there is no one else like you lord i there is no one else like you help me say for you, you are, are great. great yes come on come on you do miracles this is your one so last chance great. come on say it to him there is there no one is no in heaven, no one on earth like you. There is no one else like you. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? We can do better than that. So the King of glory, do better than that for Jesus. Come and put your hands together. His word is to be praised. Come and do it better. So the King of glory that has brought us this far, it's not by power, it's not by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Just put your hands together. Hallelujah. Father, we give you all the praise. We thank you for everything you are doing and those things you will continue to do for us. We give you all the praise, God. And we say your name alone be exalted. In Jesus' most precious name, we have worshipped. Hallelujah. Can we take our seat in the presence of the Lord? Good evening once again, everybody. So I'm here to take the Bible reading, and after that, we take the hymn, first hymn for tonight. And before that, um, the um, washroom or the toilet is at the, at the extreme, my, my far left. So just outside, you can just get the mobile toilet there. God bless you in Jesus' name. So our Bible reading for tonight is Psalms 95 from verse one to 11. Psalm 95 from verse one to 11. I'll be reading from NKJV, amen. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Verse 2, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. Verse 5, the sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Verse 6, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your heart, as in the rebellion, as in the day of trial in the wilderness. Verse 9, when your fathers tested me, they tried me, though they saw my work. For 40 years I was grieved with that generation and said, it is a people who go astray in their hearts and they do not know my ways. Verse 11, the last verse. So I saw in my rod, they shall not enter my rest. I pray tonight that we will enter that rest that God has prepared for us in this season in the name of Jesus. And I pray that anything that will make us to rebel against God, by virtue of this praise tonight, God is going to take it away from our hearts in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a louder amen? amen. Hallelujah. Can we rise to our feet as we take the hymn tonight? To God be the glory, great things he had done. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. Oh, ye that is life and atonement for sin, and open the life gate.
sing the second verse. So perfect redemption. Perfect redemption. The parties of blood to every believer. The promise of God. The vilest offender who truly believes that moment from Jesus. Us, great things he has done. He has taught us great things he has done. And great are rejoicing. Great are Jesus the Son. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. For 20 years of God's faithfulness, shout hallelujah. Oh, for God being the God of God, can you shout hallelujah? For his mercy that endures forever, can somebody shout hallelujah? For you being partaker of God's goodness, can you shout hallelujah? Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, we are here to thank God this evening. So I'm going to be reading from the book of Psalms 100. It's very short to thank the name of the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Stamp the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is his God. It is he who made us, and we are his is we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise give thanks to him bless his name for the lord is good his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generation let somebody shout hallelujah i will Worship and adore you. I will bow before your throne. Let the fruit of my lips be pleasing to you. And let your glory fill this place. Oh, let your glory fill. This place, if you know this song, join me. I will, I will worship and adore you. I will bow before your throne. Let the fruit of my lips be pleasing to you. And let your glory fill this place. 
Oh, let your glory fill this place. Hallowed be your name. song this evening. Oh no, I do be, be your name.
that holy name this evening because he's the Lord God of gods and the King of kings there is none like unto him can you just appreciate this God tonight can you bless him from the bottom of your hand this evening because he's God and God alone and there is none like unto him Grace Chapel can we worship this God tonight can we appreciate this God tonight his name is holy his name is holy there is none holy like our God there is none like unto our God for 20 years of faithfulness. Can you worship him this evening? For 20 years of faithfulness. Can you thank this God tonight? For 20 years of signs and wonders. Can you bless this God tonight? Oh God, can you thank him because he's God and God alone? Can you just bless him? Can you just worship him? Oh, for all the miracles, for all the testimonies, can you bless the name of the Lord? Can we bless the name of the Lord? We thank you tonight because you are good. We thank you because you are great. We thank you because you are God and God alone. No one can be like you to you, our God. No one can be compared with you, our Father. Oh Lord, the immortal God, the invisible God, the only wise God, with whom there is no variableness or shadow of tarnish. Let us give him the glory, the Alpha and the Omega, the one that reigns forever and forever. Can you bless him tonight? Can you worship him tonight? Can you give him the glory? Can you give him the honor? Can you open your mouth and bless him? Let everything that have breath bless the name of the Lord this evening. Can we thank God for grace chapel? Can we thank God for all the wonders that he does in our midst? Can we bless the name of the Lord this evening? For it's God, the Jehovah Elohim, the Jehovah Shalom, the Jehovah Rapha, the one that heals, the one that delivers, the one that is ever faithful. Can you just bless him this evening for his faithfulness? Can we say, Father, we thank you this evening. Can you just give him the glory? Can we give him the honor? Can we give him the adoration? People of God, we are just here this evening to worship him. We are here this evening, O oh God, to return all the glory unto him, to return all the honor unto him. For the first year, for the second year, the third year, the fourth year, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, the twelfth, the thirteenth, the fourteenth, the fifteenth, the sixteenth, the seventeenth, the eighteenth, the nineteenth, and the twentieth years. Can we give the glory to God? The Bible says, except the Lord builds the house. The laborers are laboring in vain. Can we thank God for building this church? And the gate of hell, despite that they tried, in spite that they tried, they have not been able to prevail. Can we give God the glory tonight? Can we worship him? Can we worship the Lord, our creator? Can we worship this God, our maker? Can we return the glory to him? Can we return the honor to God tonight, to God, for the faithfulness of God? Can we thank God? Pastor Bayo came to, to this land with his family, and the Lord has kept him and his family. None of them is missing today. Can we just give glory to God? Despite that the enemy tried. Despite that the enemy tried. Oh Lord, all the desires and the plans of the enemy. The Lord God Almighty frustrate. Can we just bless the name of the Lord for frustrating all the cancers of the enemy? Can we give God the glory to them? For all the marriages in this church, oh God, that have been conducted over since the inception of the church, can we give him the glory? All for the babies that God has given unto us in this church, can we return all the glory to God? Can we thank God for jobs? Can we thank God for provision? Oh God, for promotion, for provision, for deliverances. Oh, for all of his unspeakable blessings of the Lord. Oh, for the faithfulness of God, for the benefit of God. Can we just give him the glory? Can we give him the honor? We thank God for life. Can we just thank God for life? We don't bury people in this church, but yet God is adding to us. Can we give God the glory tonight? Can we give him the honor, people of God? Let us just thank him tonight. Let us worship him. Open your mouth. Open your mouth for being a partaker of this new dawn. Can you say, Father, we thank you for a new dawn for Grace Chapel. We thank you for a new dawn for our families. We thank you for a new dawn for every individual. Can we just give God the glory to them? Can we thank God for a new beginning for you? Can we thank God for a new beginning for your family? Can we thank God for a new beginning for this church, even for this province, for this city? Can we just thank God to them for
for a new beginning. Our God is a God of new beginnings. Can you just thank God tonight? Say, Father, we thank you tonight for this new beginning, oh God, for your church. For this new beginning for your people, oh God. For this new beginning, oh God. For every sons, every daughters of Grace Chapel. Let us give him the glory. The one that has the ability to fulfill his word. The one that has the capability to fulfill the word. Can you just give him the glory tonight? He is not a man that he should repent. He is not the son of man that it will change this world concerning. Can you just say, Father, I thank you, God, because you have been faithful. You have been faithful to us. You have been faithful to your church. Can we just bless God tonight for his faithfulness? For his faithfulness, oh God, let us give him the glory, people of God. Let us appreciate this God. He is forever faithful. He is forever good. He is forever kind. Let us bless him. The Lord that has not withdrawn his mercy from us, let us give him the glory tonight. For you being a partaker tonight, can you just thank God? Do you know there are many people that were alive 20 years ago? <laughs> many people were even born 20 years ago, but today they are not even alive anymore. Can you just say, Father, I thank you for being a partaker of this new season. I thank you for being a partaker of this new dawn that is upon us, upon your church. Let us bless God. Let us give him the glory. Let us worship him, oh God, for this new season and for what God has started in our life for what God has started in the church of God. Father, we bless your name, O oh God. You are worthy of all praises. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all adoration. Oh God, there is none I come to you, O Father. There is none, O oh God, that can be compared with you. All other gods, they are the, O oh God, the works of men's hands. They have eyes they cannot see. They have mouth they cannot speak, O oh God. They cannot help their followers. They cannot deliver. They cannot save. But you are the only living God. Oh Lord, whatever you say comes to pass, oh God, let us give him the glory. Let us give him the honor tonight. The everlasting God, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending. The Lord God that called those things that be not as if they are. Let us give him the glory. Let us give him the honor. Let us worship our creator, our maker tonight. Let us just thank God for turning around oh God, our captivity as a church. Let us thank God tonight for turning around our captivity as his people tonight. Let us give him the glory. Let us give him the honor. Oh God, for a new dawn for the church of God. Bless the name of the Lord. We bless your name, our Father. We bless your name, our God, because you are the Lord God, oh God, that is worthy of all praises. You are the Lord God that is worthy of all adoration. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this program tonight, oh God. It is unto you. It is unto you. Thank you, oh God, for your kingdom that is already here among God, oh God. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for what you have started in our lives, oh God. Thank you for miracles, oh God. Thank you for restoration, oh God. Thank you for turn around, oh God. Let us give God the glory unto him that is able to do abundantly, oh God, exceedingly, above and beyond anything we can ask or think. Let us give him the glory. Let us give him the honor. Let us worship him. Let us worship him. We thank you tonight. We honor you. We honor you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the heart hear his voice. He wants you to praise the name of the Lord. That is what that hymn is saying. He wants you to praise the Lord. That is what the hymn. Can you praise the Lord? He will rejoice. Who come to the Father, to Jesus, the Son. Father, the maker of the heavens and the heart, 
the one that was before the beginning, the one that will continue to be when nothing else, oh God, will exist, the self existing God, the one that no one enthroned, nobody can dethrone him, the one that says it and it comes to pass, and nobody can question you and say, What are you doing? We thank you for your counsel over this church. You brought this church, oh God, as a seed, even from Nigeria, you planted it. Despite, oh God, the rage of hell, this is the 20th years. Father, we return all the glory to you tonight in the name of Jesus. For what you have been doing, oh God, your countable masses, your blessings, promotion, deliverances, for everything that we cannot even recount tonight. Father, we return the glory to you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the life of our pastor. You brought him and his family from Nigeria. And you have kept them these 20 years. You have not only kept them, they are still standing in you. They are still standing in faith. They have not lost their faith in you. They have not derailed from the path. Father, thank you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus for what you have done for every member of Grace Chapel. Those that are well, with us in the past and those that are presently here. Father, we give you the glory tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we are here this evening to give you the glory, to return all the honor to you tonight. Father, we pray that the meditation of our heart, the words of our mouth will be acceptable to you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as we honor you tonight, let your glory fill this place in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do that which only you can do in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we beseech you tonight. Let nobody return home the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. 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 The Lord has been good. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord. I just wanted to start by, as we journey, as we continue, um, I just want to say, the, the psalmist says that I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known His faithfulness. Sometimes I feel like we just glide over what God does. If you think about it, Pastor Bayo would have not been here today. If the Lord didn't actually keep him, right? If the Lord didn't keep us, David says that I'm here today because the Lord sustained me. So I want us to think of the goodness and the mercies of the Lord. And I want us to count it, count them one by one. And tell the Lord, for this, I say hallelujah. For this, I say hallelujah. For this, I say hallelujah. I was thinking of what the Lord has been doing in my life. God, I, I just, it brought me to tears. I was just crying. Just tell the Lord for this, hallelujah. For being the strength of my life, hallelujah. For changing my life, hallelujah. For touching me in the way that you have, hallelujah. For sending me help, God, hallelujah. For being my father and my friend, hallelujah. For being my confidant, hallelujah. 
for not rewarding me according to my iniquities. Hallelujah. For being, for, for keeping me. Hallelujah. I want us to just take it to the Lord and count it one by one. One by one and tell the Lord I am grateful. Hey, for keeping each and every one of us. Hallelujah. Let's break. Let's continue. Just don't be tired. We have time. We have time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just want to praise you, Lord. And lift my hands to say I love
God, we serve you. Adore this God, just worship him. Sing a new song to the Lord, just bless his holy name. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. Hallelujah. Rabba Kala Marasia Telebe Anda Liande. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hey, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not any of his benefits. He redeems you from destruction. He crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. He doesn't reward you according to your iniquities. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his mercy towards you. As far as the east is still from the west, so has he taken your iniquities far away from you.
hands and just tell the Lord. Just sing hallelujah to the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Praise him. Call him names. Sing your own song to the Lord. Sing your own song to the Lord. Just thank him. thank God enough even if we spend the whole day we can't thank God enough we can't thank God enough yeah let's just say say thanks we give you thanks for all you have done
just keep thanking him. Just tell him, God, you're so beautiful to me. You're so beautiful to me. You're so good to me. It's not because I'm perfect. It's not because I've always gotten things right. It's not because of anything. Hallelujah. Not because of my... The Lord makes us worthy. The righteousness of Jesus has been imputed upon us. We're who we are today because the Lord, because of the Lord. We don't boast in anything that we have. We don't boast in the things that the Lord has given. We don't boast in skill, nothing. We boast in God. We boast that we know God. The Bible says that it's not the elite that know Jesus. It's not the elite in the society that know Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of us were drowning in religion. Drowning in religion and the Lord just picked us up. Like we've always been here. Some of us have been in church for a really long time. Some of us have been here since, but we didn't know what it means that Jesus died. We didn't know what it means that Jesus died for me. Hallelujah. the kingdom yours is the power I just wanted to encourage us that um, the Lord is our strength, the Lord is faithful, 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 the Lord is faithful to his word. And sometimes, sometimes when we, when we come to a place where we worship like this, and then maybe you think that when you go back, you're going back to, you know, maybe it's the drums and everything that's making the atmosphere what it is. No, no. Collectively, the Lord is strengthening every single one of us as we're here. So let's not take it for granted. The Lord, is, the Lord has anointed every single one of us here. So we're doing this all together. We're doing this all together. We're worshiping God together. And he, He's infusing strength into us to keep journeying and to keep going. He'll never bring anything that is too much for us to bear. He'll never give us anything that He hasn't given us grace to handle. So even when it's very difficult, I just want to encourage us that we're all in this together. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Father, thank you. The Almighty God, the All Sufficient One, the King of Glory, the one who holds the entire universe upon nothing. One whose clothing is the Shekinah glory. The one in whom we move, we live, and we have our beings. Father, thank you. The one whose ways are unsearchable. The Trinity in Council, we've come to worship you. Glorious God, we exalt your holy name, Father. We magnify your name. You are great. Yes, you are. Choir, help me, please. Holy one, you want to pass You raise the dead. You raise the dead. Reign in majesty. You are the mighty God. Everything. Everything written about you is great. Oh, you are great. Yes, you are. You are great. Yes, you are. Holy one. You walked upon the sea. Upon the sea. And you raised the dead. Yes, you are. that everything written about him is great and everything written about him is true he's a covenant keeping God ever faithful ever truth can you just think of the faithfulness of God for your life as a person the songwriter says demons tremble at his presence. Demons tremble at your, at your presence. Oh, what a mighty God, God we serve. serve. Hallelujah. What a God, God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Yes. Everything, everything. Everything written about.
the greatest. Everything about him is great. Come on. You are great. You are great, Lord. about your greatness. The athletes of these past few days speaks about the greatness of God. If you look at yourself, it speaks about the greatness of God. Man is a moving mystery. God is good. God is God. God is faithful. Can you just for a moment, in your own words, just tell him how much it means to you. I just give you a minute. How much does God mean to you? How much? Everybody watching online, whatever you are doing at this moment, how much does God mean to you? How much? <laughs> Is it His love and His mercy? His patience. The Bible says, if God regards iniquity, we will stand. If only God will see the thought of our heart. But the Bible says, He's plenty of mercy. The one who forgives sins. The one who delivers. The one who never sleep nor slumber when we are sleeping is watching over us. Indeed, everything. The Bible tells us about God is true. He's not a man that you should lie. Neither the Son of Man that you should repent. Everything He promises, His promises do come to pass. Father, thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, glorious God. Can I have Psalms 92 on the screen? I want us to just read Psalms together. Let's read Psalms 92 for the few minutes I have left. Psalms 92 tells us that we should be thankful and faithful every day. The history of that Psalm tells us that it used to be one of the Psalms they, they use in the temple services on the Sabbath. In a temple like this. And can we just read it together, everybody? Can I have the New Living Translation? And I want you to read it thoughtfully, each verse thoughtfully. From verse number one. One to go. 
It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Most High. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning and your faithfulness in the evening. Accompanied by the ten string harp and the melody of the lyre. You thrill me, Lord, with all you have done for me. I sing for joy because of what you have done. <laughs> oh Lord, what great work you do. And how deep are your thoughts? Only a simpleton will not know, and only a fool will not understand this. Though the wicked sprout like the weeds, and the evil doers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, O oh Lord, will be exalted forever. Your enemies, Lord, will surely perish. All evildoers will be scattered. But you have made me as strong as a wild ox. You have anointed me with the finest oil. My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears have heard the defeat of my wicked opponents. But the godly will flourish like a palm tree and grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon. For they are transplanted for the Lord's oaths. They flourish in the courts of our God. You will flourish. In this court of the Lord called Grace Chapel, you will flourish. We have been flourishing for the past 20 years. It's a new dawn of flourishing. The Spirit of the Lord has me to tell you tonight, it is a season to flourish. The flourishing that is happening next is on a new dimension. The types you have never seen before in every area of life, says the Spirit of the Lord. You know, sit down for five minutes. Rest for five minutes. We'll soon be standing up. You know, as a church, when you look at the history, God has been so good. Look at the little children, the teenagers, the young adults, the aged. I just want us to take some moment to thank God for this group of people in this church, for the growth. You know, verse 1 and 2, it is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Most High. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning, your faithfulness in the evening. You know, during the Thanksgiving holiday, everybody give thanks. And we all focus on, on his blessings over our lives and will and we'll express our gratitude to God for all the blessings. We do. Even the unbelievers do. Those who declare the Thanksgiving holiday, we are believers. But thanks should be on our lips every day, not just once in 20 years. The 20 hours is not enough to give thanks to God. And I want to encourage every one of us this season, don't pray a prayer of give me in your private closet from today. It should be prayer of what? Thanksgiving. Just thank God for everything. Even for the need are yet to be met, give thanks. You see, when Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving becomes part of your life, when it becomes an integral part of your life, you will find that your attitude towards life will change. Attitude towards life will change. Please try it. Why attitude towards life for many is still that of complaining and grumbling is because we have not started giving enough thanks to God. You will become more positive. You will become more gracious. You will become more loving. You will become more humble. Thanksgiving humbles a man. 
please, let it not just end this sanctuary tonight and then tomorrow at 5.30 you come again for another four hours. No. Amen. See, let me read two verses and then we'll just go into Thanksgiving again to round up this session. Look at verse 12 and 13. But the godly will flourish like the palm trees. Can I have a amen? And grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon. For they are tra transplanted to the Lord's house. To the Lord's house. To do what? To, they flourish in the courts of our God. Please be planted. It is where a man is planted that will flourish. You see, the palm trees are known for long life. Long life. I know our younger generation may not know how palm trees look like, except for those of us who grew up in the village. To flourish like a palm tree means to stand tall and live long in good health. Means that the devil cannot kill you. Means that you will live long to fulfill your God-given purpose. Isn't that enough to thank God for? That's a great promise. Meanwhile, the cedars in Lebanon... Agriculturalist tells us they grow up to 120 feet in height and up to 30 feet in circumference. So they are strong and immovable. Let me tell you a true story. The first three years or four years, it looked as if nothing was happening. It was one day I was so discouraged. My son came home with an assignment. I said, Dad, can you help me with the assignment? Usually I ask, what's the subject? Because if it is science, I would say, wait for your mommy, I'm busy. Or if it's maths, you know what that means. But mommy was not home that day, and I look at the assignment. It happens to be about this tree. I will never forget that experience in my life. The first few years, it grows few inches. I think it's first four or six years. Just few. Then, after a number of years, it grew 90 feet. The question they were asking them that I saw, how long did it take for it to grow? I discovered that for those years, that I look as if it wasn't growing. It was taking root downward. Because it's the root that will carry the height. This building was built in 1911, but it's still standing. Why? The foundation. Please, as you praise God, remember God is strengthening your foundation because greatness is coming. God has spoken it. We have seen it happening. And what we have seen thus far is nothing compared with the new dawn that is dawning. Can I say this to all our seniors in the house, especially those of us that have been with us from the beginning. Seniors, listen to me. And those that are listening, please. Let me say this. That, you know, even in old age, that's what that scripture says. You will produce fruit, spiritual fruit, nothing to worry about. We're not bury young people in this church. At old age, I'm beginning to see some of you bearing fruits. The fruits of the Spirit. Bearing fruit for the Lord. Hallelujah. There are many faithful old people who continue to have a fresh outlook. And I can teach the younger ones from experiences of life. And younger people... Listen to me, you are becoming greater and greater. There are many things to learn from the older folks. 
I can see many of you serving the Lord faithfully. Please keep doing it. Give your life to God in praise. As you praise him, I'm beginning to see many of you flourishing. I'm talking of, I'm not, I'm not making a confession now. What I've seen from little, I see this quarter to married uh, behind keyboard, came in as a little girl. And many now who came in as little girls and boys have become mothers. Those of you that have become mothers and fathers, can you shout hallelujah? Can you see that shout? Greatness is coming. Rise up on your feet. And say, Father, we thank you for every family in this church. Come on. Every home, every child, every teenager, every young people, every old folks. Come on. Lift up your voices and say, Father, we thank you. Give God the thanks and praise right now. Just give God the praise. Everything you've told us as a church, they are true. You are a faithful God. I want you to please thank God now. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Come and give God the praise. Worship him. Magnify his holy name. Father, we give you praise. Oh Lord, for every child, male and female, every father, every mother, every young people, every seniors in this church, Lord, that I hear that have moved on to other places, that have been part of us, wherever they may be today, we thank you. You are great. Yes, you are. Holy one. You walked upon the sea. You raised the dead. In this church, we've seen you done great things, mighty things, and many more to do. Father, thank you. Let's take that song again. Just take the chorus as we give God the praise. Hallelujah. You are great. You are great. You are great. Yes. You are great. You are great. Father, thank you. taking our next hymn, How Great Thou Art.
Verse 2. Went through the woods. Went through the woods. And forest place I wonder. And hear the beds. And hear the beds. Sing sweetly in the trees. Sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down.
praise the Lord. Let's give the Lord a big shout of hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to go into the second uh, session of pray, uh, prayers of Thanksgiving, but let's have our seats uh, for a moment. Uh, the, the Almighty God is in our midst. The God has been doing great things. Uh, when I was given this session, the, the psalm that I was given was Psalm 92. So when Pastor went to read it, it was just a confirmation. Um, how do you thank a person? who's done so much in 20 years. How do you even thank someone who delivered you from death in one day? I mean, if, if a person was supposed to die and he was delivered from death in one day, it takes the rest of the life of that person to give thanks. So how do you thank someone who's done that repeatedly for 20 years? You see, and that's, that's one thing that we should understand, that we come here, we give thanks. In our closet, we give thanks. See, our thanksgiving that we give is, is, is just a token. It cannot in any way measure up to what God has done for us. And that's why the psalmist in that Psalm 92, you know, he said, it is a good thing to give thanks to God. Say to, to talk about his loving kindness in the morning, his faithfulness at night. And then he went on to say that we use instruments. We bring melody. We bring our dance. We bring our shouts. Now, you see, why is, did he say that? And in scriptures, we are encouraged to sink before the Almighty God. It's because when we come before the Almighty God, our words, they are nowhere. They, 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 they are just words. What the psalmist is doing there is that in order to back up the weight of our words, we back up the weight of our words with songs, with melody unto the Lord, so that it will carry some weight. Because, you see, most of the time when we really want to give thanks to the Almighty God, words will fail us. Words will just fail us. And that's why we grow into singing, to back up that, those words with melody with songs, with, with, with music, so that they can have some weight before the Almighty God. Many times, many of us, we, 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 we just thank God in tongues. Even while speaking in tongues, we go with melody in tongues, in tongues, praise the Lord. And I want to encourage us. See, even with all this, in, in the book of Amos chapter 5, verse 23, Amos 5, 23, the Lord God said something about certain people. He said even their songs will be like noise to him. In spite of all the effort, that their songs will be like noise to him and his ears will be stopped to the melody. Meaning that all that, even when we do all that, is the prerogative of God to accept our thanksgiving or not. Praise the Lord. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. One of the things that I always ask God is, Father, please help me to give thanks appropriately. Because of my own self, I cannot do it. There is no one who can do it. But it's God who works in us, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. In the thanksgiving, this second session of thanksgiving, we're just going to sing to God. That's what we're going to do. Because you see, no matter how much words, it's the words will not measure to anything. But the Lord will help us that will back up those words with melody in our hearts towards the Lord, that our hearts will be acceptable unto God, that the words of our mouth, the songs that we will give will go before the Almighty God as a sweet-smelling sacrifice, having a sweet-smelling uh, uh, savor before the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. Let, let's rise up to our feet. Let, let's, let's just praise this God. You know, let's, let's give him thanks. One of the things I, I really want us to thank the Almighty God for is the, the way Grace Chapel has impacted lives. Impacted lives. You, I mean, Pastor will say people have passed through this place. This, I was trying to describe this place to one, someone I met, a Caucasian, and I was saying, oh, he said he wanted to come to church. I was trying to describe the place. Before I finished the description, he gave me the description of the place. He gave me the description of the place. Or someone else I met who said, well, man is insignificant, that God cannot have time for man. We spoke, and then 
after some years, he came to Grace Chapel. He was there. I reminded him, you know, remember that some years ago you said this. He said it's true. God has used this church to make impacts in the lives of people, impacts in families, in this city and beyond. We need to thank God for that. We need to thank God for so many things that we've been told tonight to thank God for. The lives of individuals in Grace Chapel. What God has done in individual lives, what God has done in families, families that God himself built in this place. We need to thank God as a church that the gates of hell has not prevailed against Grace Chapel. Brethren, there are organizations that are more than 100 years old. I mean, many of us know the story of Lehman Brothers. In one week, they went under. These are all organizations that generations, like five generations have known. They went under in one week. But the Almighty God has kept us as a church. The gates of hell has not prevailed against us. Praise the Lord. The, the choir will help me. Uh, I, I, we will just flow into the next session so you can come as well. Praise the Lord. We're going to take that song that we took before. Thanks, thanks, we give you thanks for all that you have done. And brethren, I want to encourage us, let's think about these words. That was Sometime I was, you know, the word, the king of kings, king of kings came to heart. And king of kings, more than 24 hours, you couldn't meditate enough on the, on the significance of that title, the King of Kings. Let's, let's make these words to make meaning in our hearts. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Thanks, thanks, oh Lord, we give you thanks.
You are beautiful in your ways, God. You are beautiful in your ways. Declare that He's beautiful. You're beautiful in your ways. You're awesome in your ways. You are mine.
anything just herald him. Oh, you're highly lifted and there's none like you. You're awesome in your ways. You're indescribable. You are uncontainable. Oh, you are unchangeable in your ways. There's none to be compared to you. There's none beside you. There's none holy as you are. You are highly lifted. Highly lifted. Higher than the highest. Greater than the greatest. Wiser than the wisest of all. Oh, you're an awesome God. Awesome God. Oh, awesome Baba. As the 
your faithfulness, for the pardon of sin, for your peace that endureth. Thy own dear presence are to chair and to guide us. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings of art with ten thousands beside. We have something to say you've done for us for 20 years old. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Ready.
and worship at his soul's door. The Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people. How many people of God are here tonight? Are you sure? If you are online and you are sure God inhabits your praise, you are sure that you are the people of God, come and shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Bible says, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw up all men unto me. Even though that scripture is talking about the type of death he was going to die, Jesus Christ. Yet it is true of the fact that when we lift up his holy name, God comes down to manifest his power, to manifest his glory and blessings upon the sons of man. What am I saying? Please be expectant. We have only come to give him praise. But God is too generous for him not to come down. And when he comes down, things happen. Hallelujah. So please be expectant. Healings are taking place already. Mountains are coming down. Doors of favor have been opening. Opportunities are coming your way. Sicknesses and affliction are called bowing to the name of Jesus Christ. God asks for nothing other than praise. He said, if I'm hungry, the cattle upon a thousand hills, he said, belongs to me. All he's asking for is for us to offer him worship and praise. And that's all we have come to do tonight. Now, for this last segment of these first four hours, it's just for you as a person. Now, come with me to, you can sit down for a few minutes, but come with me. This is a session we call Personal Praise Declaration. It's personal. Now, the Bible says, first of all, Look at two scriptures, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 17 through to 20. Ephesians 5, verse 17 through to 20. Therefore, do not be unwise. Do not be unwise. But understand what the will of the Lord is. What is the will of the Lord? And do not be drunk with wine. In which dissipation but filled with the Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord is here tonight. Some of you are already being drunk by the Spirit of God. In the, the move of the Spirit, you are going to be having some experiences. Don't stop the Holy Spirit. Let it continue. Tonight, some of Because it's just want to worship him in the spirit. Verse 13 says, speaking to and hymns. We've done a lot of psalms and hymns and psalms tonight. And spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart to who? Come on church, answer me. Singing and making melody in your heart to who? To the Lord. Giving thanks always for all the things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus. We are giving thanks for 20 years of ministry here. Just for grace, sharp. Peace. Many of them are coming out to sing from all over. Hallelujah. But please don't lose focus that God inhabit your praise. Amen. Now if you look at that scripture, talk about psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. What is the difference between these three? You see, psalms are the we think times from this by the Holy Spirit. Aims, aims they are the experiences of men and women who encounter God. The song. Hallelujah. And sometimes 
there are doc doctrinal truth in the scripture. But what about spiritual songs? That's where we are going this moment. They are the songs offered by believers. You know, spiritual songs offer, gives the believers the opportunity to express their personal responses to God. Your own personal response to God. That's spiritual songs. A spiritual song you know, tells or retells or testifies of the grace, the mercies, and, and, and the miracles of God from your own point of view, from the singer's point of view. You know, your song now, he said, my, my own experience, he said, when I get undignified, it's because my own testimony is different from yours. That's a spiritual song. That's a spiritual song. That's how the song is from the throne of grace. So, just get undignified now. Alone with God. In a short few minutes, I want you to just pray a simple prayer of gratitude. Before we take two, one hymns and one spiritual songs that will close tonight. It's just you. Hallelujah. You're going to say, thank you, Lord. For the blessings of life. For the blessings you have bestowed on me. It's you, personal. Can you go before the Lord? Everybody online. In any way you want to express yourself. You may want to roll on the ground. You're in your father's house. You may want to release your shoes. It's not a rented place. You're in your father's house. Just, just tell the Lord. Thank God. Father, I'm thankful to you because you have provided me with more than I could ever have imagined. I don't know about you. That's me. You have surrounded me with people who always look out for me. You have given me family. You have given me friends who blesses me every day with kind words and actions. You, you, you've provided jobs for me. Come on, tell the Lord it is your time. To just say, Father, I'm thankful for my life. Thank you for my wife, my, for my three children. Thank you for my spiritual children. Come on, give God the praise, people of God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Just bless the Lord. Magnify his holy name. Praise him, praise him. Please, go before the Lord. It's a time that you need it is a personal praise declaration. Declare it spiritual song. Sing a new song. Sing any song that comes. This is not about how it comes out. It's about your heart. You are pouring out your heart before the Lord. It's not about you know whether you know how to sing or not like the choir. No! Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. If it had not been for the Lord... Who was on our side? If it has not been the Lord who was on my side. <laughs> if it had not been the Lord who was on my side when men rose up against me. The psalmist said they would have swallowed him up. The same thing with me. When the wrath was kindled against me. What about you? The waters, the flood would have overwhelmed me. This stream will have gone over our soul. Bless the Lord who has not given us a spray to their teeth. Can you bless the Lord? It is God that's watching you at night when we sleep. God never sleeps. Children are far away where our eyes cannot see them. It is God. Come on, people of God. Thank God for your own life. Because, like the psalmist says, 
I don't know about you, my soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. I escaped, my wife escaped, my children escaped from the trap of the enemies. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Lord, you did it. Our help has always been in the name of the Lord. The one who made the heaven and earth. Can you bless the Lord? Sing him spiritual song. Tell him. He knows already, but tell him, it is you, Lord. Tell him again over and over, it is you, Lord. As many as you can remember, mention them. The ones you can't remember, and say, Lord, there are too many to, to mention. Miracles. Tell him from your own point of view. Not being led by singers. Oh Lord, I am so grateful. I am very grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful, Lord. It, days of hymns and songs we are going to be singing. As we close tonight, there's a song that has been like an an anthem for me as a person since I started thinking about these events. I want us to rise up on our feet. We are going to sing it. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crowns and worship you. We want to lay the crowns of 20 years. All the crowns of the years you have lived. You want to lay everything down. That's been my song. Let's sing it together tonight. That is what this 20 hours is all about. This 20 hours. Please sing it with meaning.
Come on, blow it. Just blow the heat to him. Blow the trumpet to him. Indeed, you are truthful to your promises. You said you will build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Indeed, we have seen that in every dimension. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. We magnify your holy name. Just, 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 just think of his goodness. Think of his goodness to you. Just think of his loving kindness and his mercy. Think of his goodness. Thank you. We worship you, Lord. Please just take this few moments to sort of reflect on the goodness of God for your life. Can you please, with a heart of gratitude, don't be religious about this, be real, tangible, thanksgiving from your heart. Sing that together finally tonight. In light, not Father, for accepting our for the access you granted us to the throne of grace tonight. This is day one of our 20 hours of praise. Corporate 20 hours. But for individual Lord, we know it's continuous. Thank you for your abiding presence. Thank you for your glory, your power, your grace, and your mercies. Thank you for the utterance in worship and in songs. Oh God, thank you. Just lift up your hands and say, Lord, it's your great name I've come to praise tonight. Thank you for accepting me and accepting my worship. Come on, just give him the praise. Let's thank him. Just give him praise. 
Give him praise. Father, thank you. Thank you. It's all about you. All about you. And nothing about us. It's all about you, Lord. Lord, we sanctify the night holy unto you. In every home, in every life, in every family represented in this church, we we'll declare the night holy, sanctified holy, victorious safety and protection. No one will sleep the sleep of death. No one will sleep the sleep of affliction. Mercy over judgment. And every blessing that comes when we lift up the name of the Lord, they are yours tonight. In every dimension, health and healing, the joy of the Lord, overflow of the blessing of God over you and your life. So shall it be. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. And give you peace. And so shall it be. And the people of God will say, Come and shout hallelujah. Shout, 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 shout hallelujah. Give God a shout of hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Wow. Can you imagine what tomorrow will look like? Say in the name of the Lord. Come on, let's jam our hands to the Lord for this band and this choir. Offering is an act of worship. So as you go tonight, give on every platform. And if you want to give in house, give because the service is done. All right? But as you go, and the Almighty God will bless you. Rise up on your feet. I want to pray over the offering. Everybody online as well. Father, thank you. Because you love us so much that you give the best, Jesus Christ. You are a God that gives. Love is active, it's not passive. Because your love made you to give everything for life and godliness to us. I ask, oh God, as we give this little, out of much you have done for us, please accept it in Jesus' name. Lord, you have promised we are entering a new dawn of abundance financial breakthrough on all sides. I'm pleading with you again that when we begin to see a, a higher dimension of financial flourishing, Lord, pride will not set in. I pray that we'll never forget we are only custodians, stewards of your resources. The Lord will bless his fund in your hands. You will never beg. You won't borrow. You will lend unto nations and breakthroughs on every side. Ideas will flourish. And the Lord will bless you and you continue to bless the body of Christ to the glory of God the Father. And the resources will be used to the glory of God. And those of you in us tonight, I just bless you specially. Almighty God will show himself strong on your behalf. Mercy we extend to everybody online. Everybody is blessed beyond measure. In Jesus precious name we are prayed. Come and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. See you tomorrow 5.30 Thursday the grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall be the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So dwell here. Don't live. Dwell here forever. We shall live. We shall not die. We shall live to declare the glory of God in the land of the living. Amen and amen. Are we done? We are redeemed. United in love. Jesus is for us. We shall
Shout hallelujah!